Hi, I'm Daryl over at the Dirt Rider Lab, and today we're going to be replacing the rear brake pads on this 2016 YZ85. Come take a look. All right, so looking at this real quick, you can see the first thing right off the bat is we got a broken rear caliper uh, guard. I do happen to have a spare one right here that uh, we're going to replace that with. But in the meantime, let's take a quick peek at the rear brakes here. You can see they're not terribly bad. Got a little light on there. Um, but uh, I'm going to replace them and put some uh, new ones in there. Okay, let's get these uh, pins out and then we will uh, take the pads out and we'll replace the pads with the new pads. Okay, we were able to pull that, push that piston right with our bare hands. That was not a problem at all. Okay. You can see there's some shims in there. We're going to try to clean all that up. Give that a little hit with some brake cleaner. those off the best you can there. Okay, I usually like to use a little bit of uh, uh, lubricant on the pins. Kind of try to help them from getting seized up in there and help the, the pads themselves kind of slide over it nice and easy. I also like to put a little bit of that lubricant in the shims up on top there, those metal little shims that kind of helps the pad slide nicely along the shims. I also like to put a little bit of this lubricant or anti-seize rather on the threads of the pins. I got these uh, EBC brake pads. Let's uh, put them in. It's got the R suffix, which means it says it's a high durability, centered metal, sport and pleasure use brake compound for use in off-road riding in extreme conditions. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get these installed here.
nicely. Let's just tighten down these pins. And let's pump this brake pedal to make sure that those piston comes out and we can get a good lock on that rear brake disc. All right, seems like it's good. Hey, just one thing to remember. When you put new brake pads on a bike, if they're for yourself, you have to remember that it's gonna take a little while for them to break in and work really well. So you may notice a little bit of less grippiness at first, and it will blend in and work better as it breaks in, I should say. If you're doing this for somebody else, it's important that you share that information with them as well. Otherwise, they could run the risk of having an accident. So just remember those two things. If it's for yourself, give time to break in. If it's for somebody else, make sure you remind them and make them aware of the situation. All right, so that's how you do the uh, rear brake pad change on a 2016 YZ85. And of course, it's going to be very similar, if not exactly the same, on a couple other models. Uh, one thing I just want to say, I got, just got this uh, Dickies uh, apron bib. I love it. It's great because it's got tons of pockets. I can hold all my tools in here. I got my uh, extension for a quarter inch extension for my eight inch, my eight millimeter. I got a couple other stuff in here. I got my flashlight right here. It's a nice handy spot to keep all your tools. Check it out. Dickie's Bib Apron. It's a good deal. Hi guys. I hope you liked that video. If you did and it was something you'd like to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing lots of other maintenance videos on other types of bikes that come into the shop. Again, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay healthy.